Okay guys, welcome to Mason Merck Metal Detecting. Uh, no Mason today, he's in school. School has officially started. It's uh, now September 1st. And uh, I've been doing a ton of research lately, trying to find some new areas, kind of running out of permissions for us. Uh, I mean, not running out of permissions, I just, we have lots of permissions we can go back to that we haven't, you know, fully metal detected yet, but we're always looking for new areas. So I've been doing a lot, a lot of research. Ended up finding a town with a, large section of woods that's conservation land and uh you know just doing satellite images and look it's all woods but you overlay uh 1892 map over it and it, there was like 15 homes out here and uh you know i got a uh, overlaid the map on the what the image of the earth looks like now got longitude and latitude for each uh area that looked like there was a uh, home back in the 1892 on, on the 1892 map so they date back further than that maybe even some to the 1700s but I ended up drawing myself a little map and I uh there's there's about 15 cellar holes on here that well potential cellar holes I don't know if they are or not but I got longitude and latitude converted it to decimal degrees minutes plugged them into my uh jeep handheld gps and uh just started walking down the road and uh, I got to the first location and turns out 100% guarantee it is a cellar hole so I'm in it right now. Here's one wall, goes to the outer wall, and then here's the wall back. So I'm standing in the cellar hole. The unfortunate thing about old cellar holes is in the early 1900s, people used them as dump sites. So you can see there's, what is that, an engine block or something? Oh no, it's like a, I don't know, a radiator or something. You know, there's all kinds of stuff. There's tires and stuff in here, but this is, uh, again, 100% guaranteed. I am standing in an 1800 cellar hole, potentially 1700s. But uh, I already dug a few square nails and stuff. I'm just gonna do little test samples at each one so I can bring Mason back if there's a lot of targets and stuff, which this one there is, and this is the first one. So I'm hopeful that the ones further out, nobody's uh, pounded yet, but all right, we'll turn you on with the first good find. So I didn't end up getting much at that first cellar hole. There was just trash everywhere. There was, uh, you know, mid 1900s beer bottles and cans and stuff. There was some older bottles. Everything's screwed up though. So just signals everywhere. Real trashy area. So I moved to the next one. Here it is. I don't know if you can see. That's a big pit, and it's like pretty much perfectly square shape. I don't see the foundation stones in the side, but if you look right here, there's a pile of rocks. That would have been questionable if this was a cellar hole or not but i mean on the map it shows old houses all along this road uh, i just did a brief walk around the outer perimeter of this cellar hole or hole and uh, i didn't get a sing sig single signal so but again these ones are right off the trail so people could have there's there's some other ones that are further out that i'm pretty uh, optimistic i'm gonna get something good out there but uh i'm not gonna spend too much too long here i'll just do one more swing around maybe like 100 yards or 100 feet around the hole and stuff and we'll see what we get but i'm not gonna spend too much time i'm gonna head to the next one okay guys i am three for three on the cellar hole so i'm doing pretty good but this this cellar hole i'm looking at it's right behind this camera is unbelievable i have never seen such a beautiful structure wait till you guys see this check this out I mean, this, this thing must have been like a castle to people back in the 1800s. So here is one giant hole. I don't know how good the GoPro will pick this up, but it, there's, a, there's like a path between the two. There's another cellar hole over there and a third one. They're all connected. Let me just walk you guys around. And I will be getting down in there. So there's some of the telltale signs of, of the piece of iron right here. 
or a can. But there are some of the telltale signs that people have been here. There's a ton of broken glass all around. But check this thing out, guys. Oh yeah, there's broken glass and bricks and stuff everywhere. So here, you can see the wall goes down there, over here, comes here. Then there's a little connect there. And there's another, I mean, look how squared off that is. Beautiful. And you can see here's another rock wall over to there, down here and right back here but then there's a third little one over there and i don't know that could have been like a looks like it would have been on the outside of the cellar on the outside of the house so it might have been like a little carriage house for the horse carriage let's go take a look at that one and probably jump right through here oh yeah this one's on the outside of the house look at how awesome that is so beautifully made wow all right again i can tell people have been here i don't know if they've been metal detecting or they're just picking stuff off the surface i'll be able to find once i start swinging the metal detector around but uh yeah this is beautiful i'm gonna spend some time at this one it's only about 10 30 in the morning and i'm at the third cellar so but again there's 15 of them on my list i won't hit them all today but check that out all right guys i was getting a little tweak a little high tone tweak on my uh equinox wasn't showing a number but i got the plug uh cut open and now it's uh, i'll show you guys Pretty jumpy, but it's all high tones. Haven't had too much luck with those today. Mostly, uh, they've all been just weird, uh, weirdly rusting nails. But uh, we'll show you guys. Let's find this one together. Oh, look at that. Finally, finally found one. Look at that. That's an ox knob. You know, a pretty common item that everybody always finds, but Mason and I have not been able to find one of these ever. Mason has one that was given to him by a friend of ours, uh, Sean from 603 Diggers, but we have not ever found our own ox knob, finally. So, all right, they did leave me something here to find. I'll keep swinging around. Maybe I can find some more some more uh, relics and stuff. But I think somebody came through here and dug all the high tones. There's tons and tons of uh, roof flashing and lots of low mid tones, but it's all like pieces of the house. But all right, that's a good find. Okay, guys. So they did leave me a few targets to dig here. Uh, this one I already popped out of the hole. Thought it was going to be another shotgun. Mosquitoes are glad I came today. But anyway, I thought this was going to be another shotgun uh, head stamp, but turns out it's not. So those mid-tones, you gotta dig them. Sometimes they're colonial buttons. They could be buffalo nickels, but sometimes they're bullets, head stamps, uh, the actual lead, bullet casings, but this one wasn't. Check it out. So that is a beautiful suspender clip. Still has all the silver wash on it too, which is nice. Oh wow, look at the back. The dirt just fell out. Boy, that's nice. That one's gonna clean up good. Just a piece of it. Oh. It's probably gonna fall apart. Oh, there it is. Look at that, nice. All right, I'll keep swinging around. I mean, this is a beautiful cellar hole. I hate to leave it. I just like walking by it, looking at me. What a beautiful structure. Take another uh, video of it before I leave just to give you guys one more look, but that's only the third out of 15 cellar holes that are out here. So maybe there's one that wasn't touched too hard. We'll see. Okay, so I'm about maybe a hundred feet away from that uh, old cellar hole, or that like triple cellar hole. And uh, I got, just got into a real trashy area. There's like mid-tones everywhere. I did just find that uh, suspender clip. And then I dug a couple pieces of like sheet metal and stuff like that. Nothing real good. But uh, I just got another mid-tone but repeatable. Figured out, uh, you know what, I'll dig another one. And guess what I found? Another beautiful suspender clip. And now you see the design on that. I thought, oh wow, I just found the other one. But check this out. 
two completely different ones. And when I was brushing this one up, I noticed on the back that it has a patent date. I can't quite make out what it is now, but I'll, I'll throw it up on the screen once I figure out what that patent date is. And this one, that piece is iron, so it's all rust and stuff, but this thing's still completely covered with a silver wash. Look at how beautiful that is. All right, two suspender clips. That was worth it. This cellar hole is just massive. Again, this is this is only uh, one of the three parts of the cellar. This would have been a huge house. These people must have had money. Where's the George Washington button in the yard? All right, guys, let me ask you a question. How long you think it's been since somebody's eaten in this house? I could be the first one in 200 years to eat lunch in this house. All right, guys, we'll see you at the next cellar hole. Okay, guys, we are at coordinates number four, and guess what? We are four for four on cellar holes. You see the old foundation wall? And there's another wall that goes all the way over here. This is a real small one, but still beautiful, still nice. And you can see right here, there's a barrel stave. Those are the telltale signs that somebody has already metal detected here. But I'll run my, again, I won't stay, this one's pretty small, I won't stay here too long, but I'll run my metal detector about 100 feet around the, the uh, cellar. I won't be jumping back down in that one. One of the other cellars I was in, uh, the one I was eating my lunch, after a little while I realized it was a uh, bald-faced hornet nest in there somewhere. They started coming out of the wall, so not really uh, looking to get stung today. But all right, we'll turn you on if we get something at this one. If not, see you at the next cellar. All right, I didn't get anything at that other cellar hole. I mean, I got crap, but nothing worth showing you. But check this out. So we are five for five on locating cellar holes. Here's another one. Boy, this one's weird shape too. I guess just the back side of it caved in. You can see there's piles of rock. There's a bottle right there, but I think it's newer. Oh yeah, smearing off ice. But, all right. Crazy, man. Five for five on finding cellar holes I've never found before. Pretty cool. All right, we'll swing around here for about 20 minutes. If I don't get any quick signals, we'll uh, move to the next one. The next one I'm pretty excited about. It looks like it would have been a big home on the old map. So these are just tiny little ones. I wasn't even sure if they were going to be anything here to find, but there was. So we'll swing around for a little bit and then move to the next one. All right, we are six for six for locating cellar holes today. Here is the sixth one. Another big one, but uh, a lot of the walls are caved in. And uh, you can see, unfortunately, this one has all the telltale signs that it's been pounded again which i figured it would have been it's right off of uh i don't know if you can see over there there's a that's an atv trail and snowmobile trail so people are flying by this thing in the winter when all the leaves are off the trees and they can see this one clear as day just like some of the other ones but uh you can see right here there's a piece of pottery somebody must have dug this up it's kind of neat I left it here huh. almost make a nice little hanger Uh, an old sardine can. Beer bottles, there's some barrel staves in there. Old tire, the paint can over there. Uh, again, not too optimistic. Ooh, mosquitoes, man. They are happy to see me. But uh, not too optimistic about this one, but I don't have a whole lot of time. I gotta get back to my truck and drive an hour back home to get the kids from school, so. I'll swing around for about 20, 30 minutes, but you can tell this one's been pounded, so I probably am not expecting much anyway. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but all back there behind the cellar hole and over there on the side has all been logged probably within the last 10 years. So it's pretty wide open. So again, not too optimistic about this spot, but we'll give it a shot. All right, guys, it is time for the Mesa Merc tailgate wrap up. All right, I did end up taking that thing that somebody left on the uh, foundation there at that last cellar hole. I like it. If you look at it, you know, you can see all the imperfections. So I believe it was a, it's hand forged. It could have been like some type of runner for a carriage or something like that, but 
I think I'll mount it on my wall with the, with the end two holes and make like a hanger in my shed. I like to repurpose some of that stuff that, you know, somebody 200 years ago uh, spent a lot of time uh, hand forging, pounding with a hammer and heating it up. Uh, it'd be just a waste to bring it to the scrap yard. So I'll try to repurpose that. Uh, anyway, we got that thing. We got tons of uh, roof flashing. I didn't even take it all. I couldn't. It was too much in the cellar hole. That's why, that's why I don't detect in the cellar holes because it's usually all that roof flashing from whenever the house would have collapsed and all the wood rots away but it leaves that roof flashing uh got another one of these rings i probably have about 15 of these now i think there's something horse tack related maybe the reins tied off to it or something no idea what that is no idea what that is uh we got tons of square nails they're all mixed into this dirt too a nut washer head stamp i actually didn't dig any bullets or bullet casing i just got the one shotgun head stamp and this is either a piece of a horseshoe or a piece of an ox shoe um we got two beaver tails i just grabbed a couple pieces of pottery but the pottery was everywhere i did end up digging wait that almost looks silver i have no idea what year that is i'll have to look it up later so uh, we ended up digging i believe a clad diamond clad nickel those were in the path, the trail. Uh, I believe this is a, it's not a heel plate, but I guess it's a shoe plate. Looks like it's a, a foot anyway. Uh, no idea what this is, but I believe it's brass. It rang off really good. I, I don't know if it's like a napkin holder or what it is, but I thought it was pretty interesting. And our finds of the day, we have two completely different, but very similar uh, suspender clips. This one's real beautiful. Now they both are actually, and an ox knob. So we didn't dig anything uh, too spectacular or any coins, but I was able to, you know, using longitude and latitude converted to decimal degrees, minutes, I was able to uh, plug that into my handheld GPS after overlaying an 1892 map over a current uh, uh, modern day map. And uh, I was able to walk to six separate cellar holes, and I got 15 of them in this area mapped out. So the first six I went to were in fact all cellar holes. They've been detected before I could tell. Again, this people have been detecting for like 20 to 30 years already. I'm kind of late to the game, so I don't know. But there, were, there was a few goodies they left behind, so I'm pretty excited to get back out here and hit some of those uh, other cellar holes that I haven't walked to yet. All right, guys, you know, if you like the content, go ahead and uh, hit that like button, give us a su subscribe and hit the notification, and we'll see you at the next adventure. Hopefully uh, Mason will be with me at the next one.